Hello, everyone, and welcome to phase three of my American pronunciation course. I am Arsenio, if you don't already know. And for those of you who have purchased the first and second courses, and now you're on the third course, I must say I am so grateful. Unbelievable amounts of gratitude is being showered towards your way because you are the one, you are my oxygen. You are the reason why I love to continue doing these courses to help people all around the world with, their, with the development of their English language skills. And so here I am today giving you a thorough rundown of a, th a let's just say, three chapter type of video course. This one's going to be considerably longer. All right, so what we're going to do, and of course, this is the introduction. So for those of you who are looking towards actually purchasing this course, you're going to see this, obviously it being downloadable and it being a preview, you're able to watch this and say, okay, do I wanna make a decision? Do I wanna go through with this purchase or not? And so this is what this video is and I do this for every one of my courses also. So here we go. In this specific course, there are eight types of different things that you will learn in the outcome. So. First things first, you're going to learn about the common stress patterns in words with more than one syllable. Very, very important. And obviously how to make that stress in English. As I've already stated in my previous couple of courses, I said that we would be getting into the, okay, how do I know when to, you know, how to stress this syllable in a word versus this? How come I don't stress this one? It's because we need to understand, obviously, stress in different syllables that come from French suffixes. Uh, it could be like reply. We normally say reply, but it's actually reply, right? Because the E is actually a schwa. So there are a number of different things like repeat. We don't say repeat, right? We don't stress both syllables like we do in IV. Now, like ivy, poison ivy. You see what I mean? That's a nauseous plant. So these are the types of different scenarios and things that I'm going to teach you within this course, okay? So we have to know about common stress patterns also in suffixes, right? And multi-syllable words. Now, this could be four syllables, five syllables. A lot of you are very, you're unaware of, okay, you know what? When it comes to the longer words, which one do I stress? And it's normally the third or fourth syllable, depending on if it's a, four or five syllable word. So academic, scientific, uh, scientific, yeah, okay. I was actually reading technical. But technical and scientific, these are, again, the types of syllables that, um, <clears throat> or the types of words that I will be going over in this course. Also, vowel sounds in stressed and unstressed words, basic rhythm patterns in phrases and sentences, so this is obviously going to loophole into the content focus in function words in the phase four. And of course, the last one, generally stressed and not generally stressed, okay? So the learning outcomes, and you guys are like, okay, so what am I going to learn from this when it's all said and done? When it's finished, what do I learn from this? Well, you're going to learn how to stress words like compound nouns, numbers, two-syllable words, two-syllable noun-verb words, two-word verbs. You're going to learn about the stress in abbreviations such as IV, right? Like an IV. Oh, I need to get an IV. You don't say, I need to get an IV. No, 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 no. We're going to understand that also, the stress in abbreviations, okay? How to enunciate words with the beginning suffixes of I and suffixes, you know, well, I'm sorry, the begin the ending suffixes with I and the prefixes with I. Graphology, those are obviously suffixes such as zoology and geography. You know what? I would always say zoology when I was younger until I said, wait, it's zoology? Yeah. So again, understanding the suffix O-L-O-G-Y, right? French suffixes, initial stress, words in sentences, unstressed words in sentences, and reducing structure words, which are function words, and this loopholes into the phase four. So with that being said, there's a lot of content. 
the last uh, in phase two, we had six videos. More than likely, this will be nine to about 12. I'm trying not to make it too long because, again, it could be very, very overwhelming for a lot of people out there. But nonetheless, guys, I'm very, very excited about this specific course because I'm getting into the grit now and there's going to be a lot of content and a lot of things that you will need to consume. All right, so this is the beginning stages, whether you are watching this on YouTube, whether you're watching this on the Udemy platform or another platform in China or on the Facebook page, you are now aware of what you will be learning in this specific course. For those of you learning test preparation courses and have already set your course of goals and your course of action in phase one, we're now getting into the grit, into the core of this course. So with that being said, guys, if you have any questions, please let me know. I will be more than happy to, you know, explain further about what this course will be providing. But that's everything in a nutshell. So with that being said, again, guys, stay tuned for more. If you have any questions, let me know. And I'm looking forward to, of course, teaching you throughout this course. I'm your host, as always, over and out.